This single-celled organism is Stentor. It is a close relative of Paramecium, and at one millimeter, it is just barely big enough to see with the naked eye. The beating hair-like structures on its surface are called cilia. As they beat, the cilia create a current. This current propels Stentor as it twists and turns in search of food and habitat. Cilia are found in many organisms, including ourselves. Among other things, they create a current along the surface of our airways that sweeps mucus and dirt from our lungs. Most larger organisms don't move with cilia. The many independent cilia just aren't effective at propelling big things, and other approaches, such as fins or legs powered by muscles, are needed. The tenophores, also known as comb jellies, are an exception. This tenophore is Nemeopsis, which grows to be about the size of an apple. Nemeopsis is pelagic. It spends its whole life swimming in the ocean. Nemeopsis and other tenophores are the largest organisms to be propelled by cilia. Tenophore cilia are highly modified and are arranged into specialized structures called combs that can move such a large organism. Each cilium doesn't move independently as in tiny stentor. Instead, the cilia of each comb function together as a paddle. The combs, in turn, are organized into rows along the body and their motion is coordinated across the whole animal. The tightly packed cilia within each comb are crystal-like. This causes each comb to refract light, splitting white light into a rainbow of colors. As the combs move at slightly different angles from their neighbors, it appears as if colored lights are shooting up and down the sides of the illuminated